welcome back. In the previous part, we very, very much met CFW Trick. Oh, did we meet him. And then we got word that Uni has disappeared. But before we look into that, we got some chirpers to see. So let's go have a look. Information. Nep FC Chairman. I wrote a slash fic about Nep Cross Noir. I was surprised to see the Vice Chairman redraw Noir to resemble her. Could that mean? <laughs> nah, there's no way. No way what? Ooh, could could the chairman actually be Noir? So hmm. Probably not. Probably exactly what we're all thinking. Rum! Yucky, slobbering tong. Oh, don't remind us. Ew. Indeed, ew. Nepgear, may I have a word? I seem to recall the twins mentioning something that I simply cannot get out of my mind. Something they said? Uh, what was it? Um, I believe it was in reference to being licked or something. Ah, that. I cannot get the image out of my mind. Please, I must know what happened. I don't... No. If you insist. Fade out. Fade in. Their entire bodies? With a six foot tongue? How very lewd. They were both very upset about the whole ordeal, and... Rightfully so. Such a vile act should not go unpunished. Indeed. Still, what an oversight on my part. I had no idea one's love could be expressed in such a manner. Wait, what? Oh, uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Mina, we're home! We're home. Oh, welcome back, girls. My, look at you. You're both covered with dirt. Oh no. <laughs> Me and Rum made some pretty sweet mud castles at the city park. It was this tall. We made a moat too. The two of you still go off and do such childish things. Why don't we go and take a bath together? Okay, I like baths. Bleh. You scrub my back like you're doing dishes and it hurts. Not today, I won't. I'll rinse you nice and gentle, as if I were licking the suds off of you. I really hope she meant that as just an expression. Lily rank between Nepgear and Ram increased. And Ram. Oh dear, oh dear. Information Ram. Mina bought us a new console. It has a 3D screen. Neat. Nah. Ram. <laughs> gotcha, Rum. That's it? Alright. Mina! Rum, Ram. I know I let them leave, but I do worry about them. Well, you should. You are their guardian, after all. Dodie! Princess. How many times does she have to be abducted by the same person? This better not be a ploy to get some plumber's attention. If it is, I need to treat her about love. Indeed, that could be a problem. Right, lean box. Here we got down in lean box. Cave in 5 PB. How 5 PB and I are related? Odd. I feel we have known each other longer than our lifespans. How, how is that possible? You're so cruel, Cave. Hmm. I offer my apologies. It was merely my attempt at a casual joke. You two seem like close friends, even though you're so different. Huh? Us? Close? Oh, man. You are uncomfortable being within a certain proximity to me? Uh, no, that's not what I meant. I respect you a lot, so hearing us being called close friends shocked me. Respect, you say? I also carry respect for you. You do? Yes, you are always optimistic and can save many lost souls with your songs. Also, you are far more adorable than I. Those are charms that you possess and that I lack. I am truly envious. No way, I'm not special. Uh, now I'm even more shocked. You mean to act humble before me? Or are you unaware of your own personality attributes? Okay, you're so much more of a gift to the world than I am. Oh? Like you're so strong-willed and mature and cool. You're so nice to me, even though I can be really shy. 
That is far from the truth. I am no such person. Don't say that about yourself. I think you're the one unaware of how special you truly are. No, you are the one who... No, you are so much better. I see. They're so completely compatible. Where did I get completely from? So compatible exactly because they're total opposites. Indeed. Right, information. We'll have a look at cave. Behold you the 5PB1. I was recognized as the world's greatest. Hmm? What does that mean, you ask? Huh, <laughs> then I shall tell you. I was recognized for making the most bullet hell games. That's it? Alright. Wait, why do 5PB swap? Alright. Fair enough. My whammer bar broke off. Whammer. Whammy. Whammy. It happened in the middle of my rehearsal, too. I can't finish my set without it. Oh no. Does everyone like making music? Mm, I've tried it before, didn't like it that much. I composed the songs, but I love making up the lyrics too. I'm a one-stop music shop. Um, I'm sorry to spring this on you, but may I take a day off next week? Sure, we can't force you to stick around. Sounds like you have some plans, huh? Yes, I'm hosting my high five radio broadcast next week. A radio broadcast? Are you a celebrity DJ too? I guess. High Five Radio has had a rough run of things, so it's only airing on the internet these days. Still, that sounds so cool. I'm really excited to tune in. It makes me feel a little nervous to know a friend of mine is listening. Oh, please don't say that. What site do I go to for it? Um, I'll write the URL down for you. And here's a list of our broadcast dates and an email contact. Thank you so much. I'll listen to your next broadcast. Okay, I have to go now. Bye-bye. Her own radio program. I'll tell the others to listen in too. It's not fair to keep it to myself. Just don't tell her. It'll make her worried. 5PB and 5PB. High Five Radio. I'm the DJ for this web-based radio program, 5PB. Welcome to High Five Radio. Tune in, okay? If only we could. Maybe I need another guitar. I have so many bumpers. It's time for me to try out the legendary Glibson. 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 Alright. I, I know what it's trying to say, but Glibson. Alright. Glibson models. Alright, so let's head off to the last station and look for uni. Hey, I know you girls. Welcome back to the last station. Um, who are you again? Oh, that is so rude. Oh, forgot me already. I gave you the info when you were looking for the hematite. Oh, you're that old guy. Uh, I'm really quite young in the non-anime years. Anyway, I like the non-anime years. Very nice, very nice. I take it you're here about Lady Uni. Do you know where she is? Look at the stern face there on Nepgear. She's very, like, determined, like, do you know? Yes, the Oracle asked me to find information, and I believe I've come across a solid lead. Wait, how are you and the Oracle on speaking terms? Uh oh. Ah, uh, well, um, we have far more pressing matters at hand, so let's focus on those, shall we? Do you know if Uni is safe? Where is she? She was trying to confiscate all the awful chips that were spread throughout last station. Then a few days ago, we got reports of an inhuman shadow arguing with Lady Uni. It was overheard that the two planned to steal their debate. What? Steal? Settle their debate at a place called Mid Company. Lady Uni has been missing ever since. Then that could mean. She lost the fight. We have to go save her. She might be seriously hurt. That's why I've been waiting here. I can never survive in that hostile area alone. We understand. We're going, you. Please be safe, Uni. Right, so we could go there, but there's some more events here, so let's have a look here first. Information. Falcom! The name's Falcom. I'm just your stereotypical adventurer. Oh, are you? Hello, Falcom. Oh, it's you! How's the journey? It's going just fine. 
but it'll take a while until we can truly call the game industry a peaceful place. I understand. So, like, you have your own hurdles to... Where are you getting these weird words from? Sounds like you have your own hurdles to clear. If you wouldn't mind, perhaps I could join up with you. I'm not sure how much of a help I'd be, though. Goodness, are you sure? Yeah, things on the island are more or less settled. I figured it's high time I reciprocated your kindness, so... Of course you're welcome to join us. It'll be a pleasure to have you. Excellent. The pleasure's all mine. We'll, we'll add her in later. Still need to mess around with the characters we got right now. Strength booster added. Awesome. We've probably got a Falcom chirper here. Falcom and a hot-blooded merc? It's kind of nice having a big party on an adventure. Okay, hot-blooded merc. I finally got the adventurer's latest book. It's used and tattered, so I need to fix it up a bit. But I won't. Hmm. You want to know how to make this? Here, take this! Christine Chronicles. Hmm. Alright then. Anything else around? Nope. Off to mid company we go. Let's do our best. Oh, I expected something. Boom. Boom. Only doing that there. I came here previously to fight one of these big guys. Because I needed it for a quest to get up um lean boxes shares to make sure we got that scene about the sword. Because apparently you need something like 5% or something to get it up. Um, let's do that. Because that'll get our stats I'll boost up. Who should I play with? And we'll take out several of the doggos. We'll get the rush up. Nope. You can tell this area is available earlier because kind of destroying all the enemies here already. It's not a high level area. Let's put it like We're going to do the big thing. I'm sure I get an item from that that I can use in the plans as well. Sparkle! This elephanty thing. I can't wait, Mew. Indeed, you can't, Mew. Right, can I reach one? I, oh, yeah, I can. There we go. It's gonna be hard to get the exe drive off. Stop going up that much, and they're dying too fast. And I don't want to use skills or anything because I don't want to waste my SP. It's broccoli's turn, Mew. But something I do want to talk about. I want to mention this because there's been a few people who said this. That I hate Christmas. I don't hate Christmas. I never said I hated Christmas. Don't hate Christmas. I don't celebrate Christmas. That's what I said. That's completely different. And I don't like the people during Christmas. The actual celebration. The actual thing. Fine. No issues with it whatsoever. Because I was having this discussion earlier with my mum. It's like Christmas to me. It's all about time with the family. You know, it's it's a few days off to spend with the family. But that idea has gotten lost. So it's sort of like, I, I do like Christmas, but I like the older version of Christmas because it's too monetized now. And people are too focused on forcing their views of the celebration on others and how it's all about presents and stuff like that. And it's just that sort of mentality. It's like, no, no. Because I even pointed out, like, what was the film? Miracle on 34th Street. The newer one, anyway. I don't, I don't know about the older one. I don't like that film. Because it doesn't capture the right message at the end. Because there's going to be spoilers, by the way, for the film if you haven't watched it. Just just let you know. I'll obviously use the scene selection to get to the part you need to. If you need to skip past this. Spoilers! So that's your warning there. But the ending of that film... It ends up with, like, the little girl getting the house that she wanted and the family she wanted. But the, the message is wrong there. Because the message is like, you get exactly what you want for Christmas. You can take away that message. It's not what they're going for, but that is what the message comes out as, if you look at it properly. You get exactly what you want for Christmas. That's not right. They should have... Just tweaked it slightly, so it's like the little girl should have realized she doesn't need the house. She doesn't need the house at all. She has a family, and that's the important thing. She has the family. That to me would have been a better Christmas film, but because it doesn't have that message, I don't like it that much. Just it's not for me. It's not for me. Not for me. So I reiterate, I don't hate Christmas. 
I just don't celebrate it. I just spend time with my family. That's how it works. Right, so anyway, let's save, and we'll go on to the event. Onwards! Someone's collapsed on the ground! I... T we've barely seen this background CG thing. The background right now. We've barely seen that anywhere else, because I'm instantly like, where's this? I don't recognize this. How come they haven't reused this one a lot? Is that Uni? Hey, are you okay? Did she really lose? She's unconscious, but her vital signs are stable. It's time for Nurse Kappa's healing magic! Uni... <laughs> Can you hear me, Uni? Where does it hurt? Here. What are you doing here? Ow! 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 Please lie down. We have to take it one small step at a time. No need. I'm just fine. This is... nothing. Ow! Oh no, Uni! Quit acting tough. Who are you fighting? It's hard to imagine someone taking you down. Take me down? This is part of my faint strategy. Seriously, I was only acting weak, that's all. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Who did you say you were fighting? I didn't. Someone called CFW Brave. For being a member of ASIC, he was actually pretty chivalrous. CFW Brave? Why does that sound familiar? Flashback. That CFW bit is the same as the dumb perv from Louis. Right. I think it was CFW Trick. I wonder why they use the same acronyms. Mm-hmm. Did you beat that trick person? Yes, but only just. Everyone else helped me too. I see. It's a no-no to talk this much while you're recovering. You should get lots of sleep. Let's go back to the city where the beds are cozy, new. Oh. Triple dot. Right, let's go back to the city, like Broccoli said. Yoni seems really depressed. She's got a lot of pride. The idea of losing must not sit well with her at all. I can relate. I felt the same way when I lost back then. What a stupid baby! Crying just because she lost at something. But I'd be sad too. It's okay for you, Rom. Besides, as long as we're together, you're not ever gonna lose! See, this Ram, I really, really like. It'd be great if that childish optimism would rub off on some other people here. Hey! Amber Alert, you guys! An Amber Alert? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! What's going on, you? Uni, she's gone. She took all my cute bandages off and vanished. Cute bandages. Why would she do that? Man, what a handful. Let's go find her. She couldn't have gone far with her wounds. Where, where, where is she going? What is she doing? Why is she going to the Endless Zone? How do we know she's going to the Endless Zone? Alright, anyway, let's go to the Endless Zone. It's time to depart. That has an end. By the way, just so you know. But we've been here before, haven't we? I think, yeah, yeah, because I recognize the big Fenrir. And the fact we've got question marks all over the map, so we've been here before. We don't need to do the enemies! What am I doing? Wait, I didn't have to get the rush up in the previous dungeon. What a waste of time. What have I been doing all this time? I couldn't beat that one opponent. There's Uni! Nepgear, we're all worried about you. Please come back with us. I didn't ask you to worry about me. Just leave me alone. No. Don't be like that. How couldn't we be worried? It doesn't even matter if I'm here or not. Nobody would bat an eye if I vanished for good. No. What the goodness? That's not true. I... I want you to help us, so... Why? You don't need me. Uni, what's gotten into you? I lost. I wanted to beat the enemy that took down my big sister. I lost before I could even make it that far. All my effort has been for nothing. That's because you're trying to fight all by yourself. If we all work together, then maybe... Yeah, you're right. I am all by myself, aren't I? 
unlike you, surrounded by so many friends. But you can be their friend as well. About my sister? I've been all alone out here. Uni, I was an idiot to think I could fill my sister's shoes. Isn't it kind of funny? And sad? I was trying my best at something that's simply out of my league. Th that's not true! Huh? I'm the same way. I know that I can't fill my sister's shoes, but I'm trying to do all I can. No, I have to do all I can and accomplish what she couldn't. I have to save my sister! Save your sister, huh? But I can't do it alone. That's why I'm asking for everyone to help me out. IF, Kampa, Ram, Ram, you, and all my other friends. If we work together, we can pull it off. I know we can. We have to believe in ourselves. You called me... your friend. Because you are our friend. Of course I did. We're both CPU candidates, so it's only natural that we become friends. Not here. And yet that wish shall never come to fruition. Oh. Huh? Who's there? It's you. CFW Brave. The one that defeated you. Fortune smiles upon me. Finding two CPU candidates in one fell swoop here. I take no joy in senseless killing. Cease your actions against ASIC and you may both leave here alive. We will not! We're going to fight ASIC and rescue our sisters! I believe that the outcome of our duel had already been decided. You know well my strength. W well Don't let him get to you, Uni. I'm here with you. If we fight together, we can defeat him. Together. Hmm. You sure do like to make things sound more dramatic than necessary. Yeah. But you're right. I... No. We can't lose. We'll never lose to someone like you ever again. Yeah, you tell him! I applaud your bravado. However... However? I will teach you that actions, not words, carry the strength to shape one's desires. Dun -dun -dun. Don't think you'll get out in one piece. I oh. believe in my own justice. So you need here as well, alright. Let's get the rush back up. I should transform. 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 Processor unit set complete. Good. Alright, let's stay away from him and get the rush going. It would have been nice if I had the chance to sort out the commands for Uni. Something I do about like about Uni's character though is across the next few games, we do see her character develop a hell of a lot, which is very nice. Because the others don't really develop that much, but Uni probably develops the most. Netgear develops across this game, then sort of gets to a certain level and stays there, but Uni across all three games, I'd say yeah, she develops the most. Most definitely. It's always nice to have a character who has actual character development. Still haven't got an XE drive, which is unfortunate. Drive skill, that is, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. XE skill. Formula E! Do I have unis, actually? I haven't had a look, because I haven't had a chance to lay around with her skills. Should I target? Let's get it up to two. So I should... Wait, I don't need to get it up to two, do I? I haven't got anybody who's got two on the XC anymore. Right, so no. So let's do... Hmm. <laughs> Aji down on him. We'll get that on him. Where are you looking at? Uh-huh. Useless. No, I'm not, I'm not, yeah. I'm not saying anything on that. Um, right, slash wave. Multiple beam launcher! You're within my range. Indeed. EX Multibuster! Vanish into the light! Useless. Useless. Show me your will! Is it my turn already? Hmm, well... 
Can I get in range to do a hyper heal? We'll do a hyper heal on Nebgear herself. And we use an item here this to get Uni back perfect. up to full health. Indeed. Um, slash wave. Bit -bit -bit Probably not Who better to I use that, actually. We'll try Pirellas' shot. Pirelli. Didn't do much. So if we have a look here, Mirage Dunch. Dunch. Yep. Hmm. It's five hits. We'll go with Mirage. Ma I can't say it. Mirage, Mirage now. Dance. Yeah, Mirage Dance. That's the one. Show me nah, the other one's better. The other one's better. Rich. Right, so EX Multi Blaster again. Vanish into the light. No. So feeble. It's my turn. Yeah. Slash wave. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, it wasn't supposed to be this hard. Louis Global Expo. Let's mm. cheer. Let's keep this up. I'm on a roll. Level up. Finally, le level up. Level up. I think I love. Yay! I did it. Level up. There we go. Fascinating. Such a boon in power with a single ally. Perhaps something caused their hearts to resonate. Could it be love? Yay! We won. We really did it. <laughs> what a delightful match. Very well. To honor your efforts, I will leave here in peace. But when we next meet, do not expect such leniency. Prepare both your strength and will. We're so awesome, Uni. Who's Will? Why do we have to prepare Will? Who's Will? Y yeah. Thanks. It's because of you, so... Ah, uh, stop being a downer already! You are super tough and cool! We won because of you! That's not what I was... Ugh, forget it. Netgear, would you mind if... If I came with you? Well, of course! Come on, let's go! Huh? Wow, really? You mean it? Yay! Of course you can come! Stop acting so happy about it! Seeing you makes me realize how stupid I was acting before. Oh, before I forget, don't you dare tell anyone what happened here. Wait, what did happen here? <laughs> you know, seeing me all depressed and pouty and stuff. Oh, the self-deprecation and all the whining, right? No worries, your secret's safe with me. <laughs> Come on! I wasn't that pathetic. It kind of were. Uh... We should hurry back, okay? Everyone's still looking for you. Are you sure you understand what I was saying? Hey, get back here! Uni has been added. The XD Drive is now level 4. She's actually coming along, right? It looks like you desperately need my help, so yeah. I mean, who knows when you'd save my sister otherwise. True. I'm surprised you were able to convince such a hard-shelled tsundere. Gigi is like a friend magnet. <laughs> Aw, stop flattering me. Yeah, but still, I mean... Anyway, it's fine if you want to help us, but don't be a jerk, okay? Hi. Can we be friends, Uni? Look at all these wifey candidates! Man, it's sensory overload! It's been a while since they were gathered together at the concert. It's a great sight. A winning team, you? Yeah, and you? It's sure gotten crowded. It was just Iffy and me at first. But look at all of Gigi's friends now. Yes, and this time I'm sure. I promise we'll save our sisters! Sure you will. Chapter 4 Goddess Awakening go Goddesses No, Goddess Good What? It appears that everyone has gathered together What did it say? Yes Nepgear, Uni, Ram and Ram are reporting for duty And for whatever reason All of us oracles are here as well Have Ram and Ram been good girls? 
I hope they aren't causing your hair to turn gray, Nipkir. Mm -hmm. We're awesome, of course. And we're not gonna be kids forever, so there. We've been good. I'm curious to know why all the oracles are here myself. Quite the cold greeting, despite our intent to propose a selfless offer. Allow me to explain. Kay has been able to develop a device that can amplify the power of Sherisite. That is why she had arrived ahead of the other oracles, to help us set up the equipment required. So this machinimabob was made from the stuff we gathered up for you before? Yes. We plan for Last Station to act independently. But with how things stand, that option is gone. It would almost seem rude to do now, since our CPU candidate seems to have made friends with you all. We're not friends or anything. I'm... I'm just helping them a little bit because they bet. Uh-huh. <laughs> Everyone's so silly. Seeing it makes me one happy compa. I don't feel any sense of urgency at all, Neil. The share site will be ready come tomorrow morning. Prepare to return to Game Industry Graveyard. Ooh. Tomorrow morning, we'll go to the Game Industry Graveyard. We have done all that we can. Failure is not an option. But of course, I have faith that our CPU recovery mission will be a success. Try not to pile on the pressure too hard, Istoire. Don't want this girl to buckle under the weight. No, I can handle it. I've made it my duty to rescue my sister after all. With me helping them, what else could it be other than a success? A, com a complete failure? Let's be totally awesome out there, okay, Rom? Okay. <laughs> How wonderful to see the CPU candidates grow and mature like this. Have a good night's rest. If you will excuse me, I still have a few matters requiring my attention. Nepgear learns superior angels. And Uni, and Rom, and Ram. Tomorrow, the time has come. Are you nervous? You're overseeing this mission, so any negativity or uncertainty you have may affect its outcome. You all. It's been a while, Istoir. I'm glad we get to meet again. Indeed. It has been a long time. Thank you all for agreeing to assist us in our time of need. I'm starting to notice that I may have picked up the word indeed from the Neptunia games. Without your aid, we would surely have no chance at recovering our captive CPUs. When did you get so formal? No need to talk like that with us. We're old friends, aren't we? Oh, you may be right about that. It is not my place to say... But, being with you feels so... nostalgic. Sure, most of us mascots were destroyed by ASIC. But the four of us found our way to each other. Everything is going to be fine. I'm sure about that. The state that game industry is in? It is all my fault. All because I neglected to concoct a solid plan three years ago. The blame shouldn't land on any one person except, if anyone, ASIC and the Deity of Sin. It's still really weird that out of the four discs, the mascots, the purple and black are the wrong way round in terms of voice actresses. And those who have succumbed to the evil promises spread by both. The CPUs can only blame themselves for growing complacent and weak. Even so, I sent them there. And now I am doing the exact same thing with their younger sisters. It feels as though I am simply allowing history to repeat. At first, I refused to help the CPU candidates. But after bearing witness to their actions, to their wills, I chose to give them my power. Wait, where's the other white disc? Why is there only one here? You should do the same, Istoire. Place your faith in them. My faith. Don't get distracted by mistakes from the past. We are here now. That alone makes the present unique. Yeah, keep the faith, Istoir. You raise such valid points. I will not let my own doubts get in the way. Thank you. 
There's that smile we've all been waiting for. How about we catch up on less work-related things next? The night's still young. We can talk like friends as we did so long ago. I would like that. Is everyone ready? Yes! I'm so ready that I couldn't be more ready even if I stopped trying to be ready! So let's go! Uh, uh okay. Nephir, chill out. You're embarrassing yourself. Everything will go smoothly. I believe that you will all make this a complete success. Here is the share site we prepared from the collected shares between all of you. Share site received. It's bigger than my face. Pretty. If we have this many shares, yep. We can save Nep Nep and the other CPUs definitely. I will act as the catalyst for the teleportation device and send you to the game industry graveyard. Nothing but my voice can penetrate the borders of that land, giving me no means to physically support you. Oh man, I don't care about that. I'm excited to meet my mature CPU wifeys. Of course you are. We've prepared as much as we possibly could for this. Listen, girls, you are to save my darling bird before anyone else. This is a direct order. Uni, come back safe with Noir. I pray for your success. Thanks, everyone. Well, here we go. And we're going to be going there in the next part. So, we'll see Let you then. Let me think a bit, new. Yeah, new. Go to the menu. Yeah, we'll see you in the next part. Bye-bye for now.